Hey guys, welcome back to Noodles Reptiles, and um, I got a new like standing tripod that does come with the ring light. I'm not using the ring light right now, but yeah, this is also the new background. So yeah, um, today we're going to be um, doing a alligator lizard hair guide. So you probably noticed that from the title, but let's just get into it. Also, guys, I was in the um, like national desert or something and we and i picked this up from the gift shop and i was just looking through it yeah it's a pretty cool book and how we get to the alligators alligator lizards and it gets even better we have a rainbow alligator lizard and this i didn't even know those existed and those are southern and northern alligator lizards they aren't just like Mexican Aronia alligator lizards, which is pretty cool. Well, let's again just get into the video. So, over right here in this tiny gallon tank that you can't see right now, let's see where she burrowed. And also, is my alligator lizard noodle? And this is her 20 gallon long breeder tank um, with a hammock, a hide, and all of the essentials she needs. But we will get into that um, in the, in, later in the video. So first off, we're going to be talking about captive diet. Um, I've talked about what you should know about before getting an alligator lizard, the cons and stuff. But, um, uh, I haven't done a full care guide of what like tank size they need, um, what what they like what they have to captively eat to um, survive, how many hides they need. So um, let's just get into it. So first off, we're going to be talking about tank size. Um, for two, I would say at least twenty gallon tank. Um, if they're like juveniles, um, if they're older and long like this. You may want to get a bigger tank, but it's honestly optional. The reason they need like that much space is um, because they they can be territorial. Um, so before getting another alligator lizard, if you already have one and you want to cohab them, um, let um, put them in like a box, see if they fight or not, and if you see them fight, pull them out of that and you probably want to get a new tank or want to let it go. Now we're going to be talking about hides. Technically, I have like seven hides in there, um, but they're also used for climbing and shed, helping her shed. So use your resources when you're building these. Um, just don't make it just for one thing. So um, I'll just show you them. So over here, Oh, oh, there she is. Um, so we have her alligator hide or crocodile hide, I would say. This bark piece that helps her shed, climb, and she can hide under there. This um, climbing piece that helps her um, climb. It's rough enough for it to help her shed, but it's still not as rough. So, oh, hi, Noodle. You wanna climb on my hand? Um, she can hide under like over here or over here. Um, these, these branches are from Joshua tree bushes. Like they're always near jo Joshua trees. Oh yeah, that's where we were. We were at like some place that like worships Joshua trees. But yeah, I got these from there. I washed them off too. Also, please wash these off. Then I got them. They're they're in bad shape, so made them prettier. It's, this still has a little bit of bark on it. Hold on, this fell. We have the, her hammock um, that she can kind of hide under, but she won't feel as safe. We have this uh, bark again, and we have this wood uh, or this. Um, See, what is it PVC pipe. So yeah, almost, um, oh wait, well these can't be used 
um, as hiding spots. So almost all of the things in here can be used as um, hides. Now we're going to be talking about shedding. Now with shedding, as um, I showed you, I also got this from Westside Reptiles. So if you want to check them out, um, just search up Westside Reptiles. Um, 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 you want to add like wood pieces, like very rough bark pieces and just anything rough that you can find or buy. Um, just put it in their tank. Also, just look over it to see if it's safe. Don't make it like spiky and stuff. Just make it rough. Just, um, let it be rough enough to help them shed. Also, um, have a moist hide too. Now we're going to be talking about diet. Um, their captive diet would be, um, doobie roaches, um, crickets, sometimes super worms, sometimes hornworms. Um, but you really want to, um, just base on, um, crickets and dubia roaches. I, um, only feed her crickets because, um, I don't, there's no places here that really have dubia roaches. But if you can find dubia roaches and you can be allowed to keep them, then definitely do feed them to this, to your alligator lizard. Also, don't feed them mice or rats, um, cause yeah, they can eat that in the wild, but, um, you, they also have a chance of it being, getting stuck in their belly and rotting in their belly and them dying, and you don't want that. Um, next, um, topic is enrichment. If you don't know what enrichment is, it's, um, something that, like, boosts their mind and, like, helps them not be so bored, cause, you get bored sometimes you do something you have to do something these guys get bored too and since they're fairly intelligent that you have to stimulate that you have to put obstacles in their cage obviously not too um too hard too hard of obstacles like those hamster videos but some pretty good um obstacles so in her cage um we have this, oh, I forgot to put this back. We have this, um, uh, this, what, I forgot what type of wood it's called, but, um, she can climb on it. They are semi arboreal, so, yeah. So you're gonna wanna put some sticks that they can climb on and all of that. Oh my gosh, everything is like falling, but, um, yeah, you want to put some things that they can climb on, um, hide under, just do whatever they want with, um, yeah, just, like, water bowls, since they are semi, um, warm-blooded, they can heat themselves up, but they can't cool themselves down, so you're going to want to put a water bowl that fits their body length, or that they can at least soak in, oh, it's pretty dry right now, I'm gonna have to fill that. But yeah, hi Noodle. Like this hammock. This this is a good hammock right here. Like she always calls on us. Up next is lighting. Now with lighting, um, they can heat themselves up so that they they don't want anything very very hot. So um, over here it's pretty warm in my bedroom, so I don't have any lighting for her at all. Um, I do have this. That I do turn on from time to time for her. But um, usually she's fine. Um, and they, yeah, they don't, they don't really need hiding. Um, they don't need, really need warmth because they can um, do that themselves. But you can, you can always provide it if you want to. Um, But instead of a heat lamp, since they don't really like to bask, um, I would recommend putting a heat mat because, um, because they don't really move too much, um, unless they're hunting. They're sometimes a sit and wait predator, so, um, put it in, like, their moist height and stuff. Wherever their moist height is or wherever their warm height is, um, yeah. Or put, like, a heat rock in there. 
and all the time you want to get a thermometer not a thermometer what is it it it's some type of thing okay well you have to put i think it's called a thermometer i don't know if i'm wrong just like the video i'm just kidding um but you have to just connect something to the heat mat or else it will burn your lizard because heat mats cannot be controlled by themselves. You need some an attachment that doesn't come in any like reptile brands. Also, you don't need, you don't always need reptile brands. You don't always need reptile brands for decorations or anything. Um, here, this is like one of the only reptile brand in here or some of the only reptile brand. There's a, there's a, there's this, which is actually a fish, for fish. This is reptile branded, and everything here, nothing, there, it's not reptile branded at all. Um, this was like, at like a gardening store or something. This, I just got outside, cleaned it up. Sorry for the cutoff. This, I got at the Joshua Tree place. Um, this is um, dirt, potting soil. This I got at Home Depot. This again outside. This again outside. This from like a, what is this from? It's from like National Geographic, Discovery. Yeah, from a Discovery place. So, again, the and this is, this, and I got this tank for a dollar per gallon. So, I see, received some money with this tank. Obviously food and all this stuff is pretty expensive. But overall, pretty cheap tank. That tank, that tank right there, $99. $99 for turtle tank. Oh, yeah. $99 that turtle and there's some fish in there uh, I, she ate some fish bastard that tank over there uh that tank over there is like 89 bucks 89 bucks well like with my bearded dragon and then the hide that was a that was a pretty expensive one right there that one and the reason it was so expensive because we got reptile brand so you don't always have to get reptile brands. You can get every, you can get a lot of things cheaper, like Mr. Misting sprays. You can get a lot of things cheaper. Obviously, with the food, can't can't get those um, anywhere else. So yeah, pretty cool. I'll see you guys later. I hope you like the care guide. I I didn't go too in depth. Um, I just tried to kept it simple, but. That is the alligator lizard's care guide. Bye.